Hey guys, I'm Aaron, and this is SketchUp Square One, where we take a look at the fundamentals of using SketchUp. Today, we're going to talk about the extension warehouse. So we're not going to go through everything in the extension warehouse. That would take that would take a long time. But the extension warehouse is an online repository of extensions. Extensions allow you to add functionality to SketchUp, take it beyond or extend what it can do by itself on the initial ins installation. So it goes a little bit beyond what we'd like to cover in Square One, but it is part of the basic user interface and you do have access to it the moment you start using SketchUp Pro. So for that reason, we're gonna take a high level look at Extension Warehouse. Okay, so Extension Warehouse is accessed by this icon right here. You can see it's a little kind of an X symbol right here. Now there are two icons that look similar. Just to the right of that, you have a little X with a gear. This is the extension manager. We'll do that, talk about that in a whole separate video. Right now, we just wanna look at extension warehouse. I'm gonna go ahead and click on it. And it will bring up a window that will show the contents of extension warehouse. Now this right here can be accessed through any browser as well. You can type extensions.sketchup.com and get to the same content. Running it through Extension Warehouse like this, it has some perks. Primarily that if I find an extension I want, I can directly install it right here. So when I first come in here, I do just kind of get a list of, here's my different uh, extensions. I, I don't know if these are, what, what are these? Featured extensions right here, and then down here below we have the top extensions. Um, and then there's some developers down here. So if you want to filter by those, you can click on those. Uh, you also have the option of typing in a search term and you can search by specific categories as well. In this case, I'm just going to come in here and type in Fend and search for that. That gets me a handful of extensions that have to do with bending. So they've been then somehow called out as bending something. I do have some filters on the search here. I can search by versions. So the previous three versions will always be listed here, as well as legacy, which is anything before the three versions, free versus paid, trial, and then ones that have listing pages. Listing pages means that uh, an, an extension with a listing page is not actually available for download and installation from directly from Extension Warehouse that is showing an extension and then linking off to some other spot to purchase or download it. If I don't want to see those, if I only want the files that are available through Extension Warehouse, I could turn that off. I also have the ability here to search uh, all or Windows or Mac if I want one just specifically for one operating system. And then of course I can also sort by different options here. Um, I, once I find one I think I'm interested in, I can click on it and that will bring up the page for that extension. And this will show some information. A lot of times there's a small movie that can play, uh, some imagery, and then uh, the description from the developer as far as what it actually does. Also a tab here for release notes for updates that have happened. On the right side, it will give me basic information. What version is this? What date did it go up? And then what versions does it work with? This information is all kept up to date by the developers. It's not actually done by the SketchUp team. These are all third party pieces. And if you want to use them, uh, you are able to download and use them directly from here uh, and help generally, if you need help with a specific extension, you can actually get to the developer through Extension Warehouse as well. I'm gonna go ahead and click on install right now. And what that's gonna do is prompt me, do you want to install this extension? I'm gonna click yes. And guess what? That's it. Some extensions may at this point require you to restart SketchUp or install additional support files or something like that that can be found in Extension Warehouse. In this case, that's all. I can click OK. And then when I close out of here, if I come up here, let's see, where is that? Tools, there we see it. Tools, the very bottom tools. TrueBend is now installed. So I mentioned as we we're going through the UI there, right up, the, up at the top, see if I can point to it, Weatherman style, right here, there's a little guy called uh, Extension Manager. And we're gonna talk about that in the next video. This one, I just wanted you to see how you can view and browse the extensions that are in the warehouse directly from inside SketchUp. If you like that video, go ahead and click like, and if you haven't already, please do subscribe. We create several videos each and every week, and you'll be notified of all of them 
if you subscribe. Most importantly though, please do leave us a comment. Do you like Extension Warehouse? Do you use it? If you can think of another idea that you think would make a good Square One video. We like making these videos a lot, but we're liking even more when they're showing something you want to see. Thank you.